Hey friends, so Adobe Express just had a major update and they actually launched the new version of their mobile app. And since the app is still quite new, I thought I'd film a series on how to get started with creating on Adobe Express in the mobile app. It's just gonna be a series of videos where I break down some of the features on this app in a more bite-sized and easy to follow way. And I'll link it all into a playlist. So if you wanna learn how to use Adobe Express, then keep watching the videos in the series. Today's video, we're gonna do an overview of the app. So where things are, what has changed and all that stuff, just to get you oriented in the app, especially if you're just seeing it for the first time. So let's go. So here we are on the Adobe Express mobile app. We are here on iPhone. Um, you can get it on your app store if you have an Android, the Play Store. It should auto update, but if it didn't, just reinstall the app and then you'll see the new updates come through. But this is the mobile app. It looks exactly like the desktop version in my opinion. Um, so we're just gonna start at the top. Uh, we have this new menu up at the top where it says for you. There's social media, video, photo. So if you click through the tabs, it kind of just like caters the results on the home page for you. Up at the top, we have all of our AI tools. So things like text to image, remove objects, insert objects text to template, text effects, all this stuff. So all of these tools are powered by generative AI, particularly Adobe Firefly, which is Adobe's AI tool. I did already do a video on Adobe Firefly before, so if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a card or a link down below in the description. You can check that out. Um, and then when we scroll down, we have another menu where you can just um, select any of these types and then it'll create a brand new project. So this is where you start from scratch. On this get started menu, it'll just create from scratch or you can pull something directly from your camera roll. And some of the things that you can create are logos, flyers, um, Instagram posts, YouTube thumbnails, all that stuff. So just some ideas to help get you started. Now, when we scroll down again, we have these quick actions and these are like quick common tasks you wanna achieve without having to go all the way into Adobe Express. So that's things like removing the background off of your photo, resizing an image, generating a QR code, converting a video clip to a GIF. So many other quick actions you can click through with more coming soon. Um, but if you do use the desktop, all of these quick actions are available to you. So, and then when we scroll down, we have a content scheduler that's built into Adobe Express. So you can directly schedule your content from the app to your social media, like Instagram, TikTok, um, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and X. So just hit try content scheduler and it'll pull up this nice little um, calendar view. Yeah, it's super easy to use. And then if you click into a post, you can like edit it. There's also a really cool like caption generator. Um, and yeah, it's pretty awesome. And then we get to the template libraries here, which you can scroll through and just start from a template. And then you can also like filter them by style, free or premium. Um, a mood or even like the type, like if you want something animated or something with multiple pages, that's in there as well. Um, there's also layouts that you could pull from. The library is massive and it gets updated all the time. So all you have to do is just select something that you like and then hit customize templates and then it'll open up the editor. So back to the home page. Next, we're gonna go into like what these menu thingies are at the bottom. So we have, obviously we have the home, which will take you to the home page. And then we have your stuff, which is basically your stuff. So all of your files, all your projects are here. Um, you can see all of your folders and things like that. Um, and then you can create folders, duplicate files. You can also access your Creative Cloud libraries in here as well. So if you create on that or use other tools and save all your assets in your libraries, you can also access that from the app as well. Now, one important note about files is if you have not updated your app yet, like you're still using the old version of the app, you can flip flop between the two versions. However, they are separate experiences, if that makes sense. So all of your files on the old version will not transfer over to the new version if you're still just trying out the app. The only way you can start working on your old files is if you convert the files to the new Express. So if you're opening the updated app for the first time, you'll see like this window, this bar, 
I guess. Banner, that's the word. You'll see this banner that'll say like, oh, new Express is here, convert your files. Um, so if you're still trying it out, don't click that button. Don't do it because once you convert your files, you can't go back to the old version. And a lot of people kind of miss that warning. Uh, I definitely did. <laughs> I just went, okay, let's do it. Um, but if you're still trying it out, you can still toggle between the two. Just don't convert your files. Otherwise you're in for life. So that is your stuff and your files. If you just select, uh, if you just, if you select a project, it'll just open it right up. Um, where you left off and it also syncs with the desktop. So if you start something on desktop, you can open it on mobile on the go. I like to do this a lot. Like I do a lot of the brunt work and the detail work on desktop because I just like the bigger screen and then I'll boot it over to mobile if it's like a story or something, you know what I mean? And like kind of finish it off there. The next tab is the brands. And this is where you can create your brand kit. And if you're unfamiliar with creating a brand kit. Basically you can store all of your colors, fonts, logos, all in one place. So when you're creating, you don't have to doom scroll or like manually upload your assets every single time. It'll just be saved on this brand kit. You can open it up in the editor and then you can, you know, use your logo or anything like that. Here is just my brand kit. So you can see all of the logo variations, color palettes, um, my fonts, even I have saved templates here so I don't have to create from scratch every single time. And then I have all of my copious amounts of stickers for my designs. And then we're on the explore tab and that has all of the templates that we just went through, the entire template library. You can also browse the Adobe stock photo and video collection as well as design assets and all of these different things. It's just a massive library of things that you can check out and search for if you're looking for something super specific. So then we're going into the little hamburger menu on the right hand side and we have the schedule and learn tool. So the schedule will pull up the content scheduler and the, the learn tab will pull up blog articles, tutorials and stuff like that to help you um, troubleshoot anything uh, while you're creating. So that's the overview of the homepage in Adobe Express. Now we're gonna go over to a project actually and kind of just talk about you know where things are in general so when you have a project open it'll look like this in the editor um, and there are a couple options at the bottom here the plus button will open up the menu so that's anything you want to add like if you want to change the template add in a photo videos audio anything like that you can access your files from here your projects your libraries the media tab is where all of the stock assets are so things like photos videos and audio and then if you add a video or audio it will convert your project to a video project so there's that and then there's the text tab where you can add any of these um, text templates or lockups or if you hit the plus button it will add like a new text box and then on the bottom if you just scroll to the left i guess there are more options because a lot of people miss some of the extra features that are actually there um, but yeah so you can add text there's an elements tab and then up at the top here there's backgrounds shapes icons different stickers and things that you can add to your projects and then there's grids which will turn your project into sort of like a collage and then we have the brands where you can access your branded assets so this is how i pull in all my stickers and stuff i'll just hit the brand kit that i want and then there are buttons at the top like it'll show you the whole thing or do you want to see the logos colors all that stuff i'll just hit logos and then if i just select one it'll pull it up and add it to the project. So that's the plus menu on the editor, okay? I hope you're still following. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll answer them. I look at my comments and I answer as much as I can. So be sure to leave a question if you have them. So that is the plus menu and a brief overview of how to add stuff to your project. Um, but if you exit out of the plus menu, then we have the theme, background color layers, and more. So we'll just click into theme and that's pretty much the color palette. You can change up the color palette of your project. And then um, the background color is just the overall background color that you can change, or you can make it transparent just by pressing the, um, 
the red slash square. That'll make any project of yours a transparent background. And then there's the layers panel. So if you hit layers, it'll pull up the layers panel on the right hand side and you can scroll through and see the different layers. And then if you select the square, it will highlight the element that's on the project. So this is great if you have like a bunch of elements grouped and layered on top of each other, you can actually find it in the layers panel and select it. Um, and then therefore it'll make it easier to edit. And then when you hit the more tab, there's other options like resize. So you can resize your project from like a square to a rectangle, whatever you want. You can change the page name. Some people like to name their layers in Adobe Express, you name your pages, okay? And then um, if it's a video, you can pull up the timeline as well. That is the menu when you're not clicked into anything. There you go. But if you are clicked into something, let's do the text, for example, let's do this bingo night thing. Um, you'll get a lot of options here. And again, I'm just talking about an overview of all of this, but in the next few videos, I'll really get into the nitty gritty of how to edit, add all that stuff. But if you click into an element, you will get a few options. So since we selected the text, there's options to like edit the text, change the font, underline, bold it, whatever, or you can hyperlink it, all that stuff. Just remember that when you are in these menus and editing your text or your graphics or whatever, make sure to always scroll to the right or swipe left. You know, this is so confusing. Anyways, just like make sure to swipe because odds are there are more features like on, you know, the, the rest of the menu that you're probably missing. But back to our menu. So we have this and then we have the effects, font, style, color, all that stuff. And again, so many different options that you can um, edit with the selected element. Same thing with the icons. You can just select it. You can fill, add animations, opacity, delete. If you select more, you have the option to copy, paste, duplicate, or lock the asset. So there's just so many different options. And depending on what you click on, if I select the shape, you can add a fill, border, things like that, the style. And again, make sure, be curious, always scroll because there's probably more options later. That is the editing options in Express. Now let's tackle the top menu. So you have the undo, redo arrows at the top, and then if you select the little page, like a little stack icon, you'll see all the different pages in your projects and you can add pages, rearrange them, all that stuff. Um, then there's the download button where you can download it, choose the different format. There's also a share button where you can directly share it to social media or you can share it by inviting someone into your project as like a co-editor. You can schedule it, you can publish it to web so that it's just on a public hosted link, like view only. Um, or you can create it into a template that you can share out with your community or whoever you want. So yeah, there's different options for sharing depending on what you want to do. So there's that. And when you hit the three dots, it'll show you more options like resizing the page, add, duplicate, similar to what I just showed you earlier. You can invite people to the project, leave comments, different things like that. You can also see the version history of a project, which is really cool. So you can see all the big major edits. Um, that you did and you can go back to those edits or duplicate the project from that saved version. But yeah, so that is a lot and that was just the overview in Adobe Express. Um, again, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below or stay tuned and watch the rest of the series on how to get started with the Adobe Express mobile app. And I can guarantee you by the end of the series, you'll be a pro. So with that, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.